and see what they're doing. And I talk about this on Basic Sorgonomics uh, last week, uh, talking about what they're doing with TouchCast and, and kind of kind of hacking away with the hardware they have on hand to do kind of a new show. Uh, but even more so, they they showed me a bit of what you can do with um, with this TouchCast app, which is which is free on your iPad. Uh, Chilla, did you did you have a chance to check this out? This might I been, did not, but this would be which would have been good for your con visit over the weekend, perhaps, because this is. They, they sat there and, and, and brought up a green screen, for instance, like right in front of me. They had, they had a green wall and they're already set up for it. They can bring up graphics. You can bring up live Twitter streams and flickers and web pages and throw them up. Uh, this is apparently a Will I Am video that was done entirely in, 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 uh, in this application. And which I want to find out how they did that tracking. Because you see it kind of zoom in on the green screen and him mm-hmm. sitting there. How do you do that tracking? If it does something like that, it's really powerful and something I need to pay another three hundred dollars on Wirecast in order to know how to do. You know, uh, but uh, you know this is all brought in through the app. These videos you can bring on a YouTube video or something, and uh, it's pretty pretty slick. And the idea that you can you know take one of these, get a nice holder. Put it on a tripod. They actually did this Monday. There was a tech ed conference. Um, I think it was in the state where they went and they're doing interviews and they have a good microphone, a hand mic that you can hook up to it. And uh, they have everything they need right there. This thing is doing everything that my wire cast with all these graphics you see if you're on video with me and the picture in picture on an iPad at a pretty good clip. And it's it's it does it in post. No, it does it live. So you need, but you need, so, and this is where, this is where I kind of had the problem putting two and two together to get what I would feel as decent footage of the con. I feel like if you're going to ask anyone a question, I can't sit there and hold my phone up, right? Right. And I feel like you need two people, at a minimum two people to do that right, interview right. and control the whole concept. Right. So just like this, you're going to need more than one you so you can't still, be controlling TouchCast while you're doing the right, cast. unless you're interviewing somebody off camera, uh, right? And you're stationary. Yeah, yeah. I, I could see it being being not too bad. And I'm kind like, of you still to need a, it's, it's like you still need a camera crew, but you don't need a camera. Right. Like everything is done in there and it's done like you're, you know, whereas, you know, even if you have a camera, you're going to shoot in something. You got to bring it in to Final Cut to do this, to do the video. And, and she's actually and I'm wondering how they're doing this because it looks like she's actually controlling the videos on her iPad. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of remote feature as well that that will kind of pour into it. And you see she brings up this uh, Twitter feed in the corner. She brings up a full Web page. This is all being done live in the application. And you can queue things up to to See, that's so nice. you can queue things up in advance and, and 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 pop them up as you go and resize them. It's really interesting. And and again, it, like kind of a nice one stop place that you can do all this stuff. And uh, and it's free. Uh, there's there, there's this interesting thing where uh, they they have some kind of alignment with UNICEF. It seems. Mm-hmm. And and even even when you get in here. There you can put polls in there, and it, it only they only work the interactivity for other people watching only works when you're on their site at touchcast.com. You go into the account, but you could actually put quizzes in the video. So I'm like, so you could go in and make an interactive video quiz situation, just an interactive test of some sort like that. And she's like, yeah, I'm like, well, that's what I spent three quarters trying to figure out the, how to do in director. And now you kids are just doing it here in middle school, you know? So that is, it, it's, it's really awesome. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to push things on my iPad three, if I tried to do the green screen on it, but, uh, uh already kind of poking around with it a little bit. And, uh, unfortunately I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the screencast. It was working before, but, uh, uh, to show this off a little bit, but, uh, but pretty cool. It's touch cast. It's uh, for iPad, so even iPad Minis. Uh, they were pretty handily kind of switching out between iPad Minis and the iPad Air. I don't know which edition it was. Uh, and it seems like it was handling it pretty well. And it was, it was the first edition iPad Mini, which isn't that comparable to an iPad 2? Am I am I mixing mm. that up a little bit, Chilla? It's the iPad 2 screen with the i probably like a four ish four processor yeah i think okay so that's pretty like that's screen pretty. resolution not the same screen because obviously the screen size is different i think it's the same resolution as the original ipad yes to your point mm-hmm. um not the retina display um and then it has the processor of the, the ipad 4 so to your point i mean if they're if they're pushing that out with that um 
you might get a you're gonna probably here's the problem you're gonna have a problem on a three pushing green screen because it's gpu intensive oh, and yeah. that's where the the three shortcoming and, was. and it's really nice because it's not just that one click green screen it, it is like you can go in and if you've ever done the green screen before if you just hit the green and and like the kids are actually wearing the, the school uniforms are like a dark green so they automatically have a little bit of fade out with that but you can go in and adjust that and you can fill in the holes and everything can you can you record and do any post or is it